YouTube was good. It's your boy J Matt. Appreciate y'all checking back in. It's the J Matt Show. Oh man, this past Saturday, I woke up to some drama. I actually, it was a Saturday. But Saturday is when everything popped off. So Saturday, I'm hopping on YouTube. My algorithm feed me a video from uh, the homie GMS. I'm not sure if y'all familiar with his show. I think he's from like Minnesota or something like that. But anyway, I got hip to his channel from watching the 5150 show. And he kind of did like a, a recap of 5150 every week. Turn out Corey didn't like that too much. So Corey be bad mouthing dude, dogging him out. He don't, Corey don't like nobody doing nothing with his content so that's how i got hit the gms but anyway so he dropped a video it says craig fax goes off on dj show and reveals why co-host left i had to watch this video because for months i was wondering what happened to craig fax show that was one of my favorite podcasts i tuned in every single week ever since the show stopped and he you know went and spent more time on the 5150 show. I always wonder what happened to the crew, man. I really, really rock with them guys. Craig has been alluding to some of the things that he was dealing with while being on the 5150 show. He'll talk about it. Uh, like maybe two, three weeks ago, he did a whole freestyle at the end of the uh, show talking about this particular subject and fake friends and this and that and people being money hungry and lying about it. So it's been a lot of like breadcrumbs he been leaving out there. And I feel like, damn, this finally a chance to hear from himself about what happened to his show and his co-host. Here's a clip of what he had to say addressing DJ Show and his former business partner, Ashley. So I'm liable for things that happen around me. You got niggas capping at bitches and being disrespectful and a woman don't like it, I can get sued like Corey got sued when Zoe fired on old boy. See, I'm around big homies and I learn and I watch and I don't impose my will on motherfuckers that is trying to help me out. But some niggas don't know how to be a part of something. Some niggas want to come into shit and try to control it and destroy it. Sounds pretty bad. You know what I'm saying? But it does sound like one of those typical situations where somebody gets a bag and then the bag is expected to be divided amongst the group as if everyone has like some sort of equal share i don't know but it got pretty ugly so gms video leads me to blaze video i didn't even know blaze had a channel so blaze got a channel and then i tune in on his channel it might have been the same day may have been the next day but he on there he clowning Craig. And I'm like, wow, these dudes really not cool. I'm, I'm like, I remember on the show, these two dudes was talking like they was family, like they was brothers, how far back they known each other, 20 plus years or whatever. And it was just weird to see this bad blood between these two dudes who work together and put on a really, really good show from what I was able to see. So I scroll down, I see Craig in the comments. Man, I see you in the morning. They schedule like about a fight. Another day go by, I log into YouTube, algorithm give me Craig versus Blaze. So honestly, the really the only reason I'm doing this video is because these guys make content out of their beef. So I don't know how serious the beef is, but you know, when you hear Craig talk, Craig talk really aggressive. <laughs> Let's come with the surprises, man. Where DJ Ho at in the comments saying dumb shit? <laughs> fucking pussy ass nigga. Uh, so I don't know. It it could be on site with dude, but during the course of their conversation, they were actually respectful at times. So it's like, I don't know, this might just be for content. <laughs> but I know I, come on, dog. Stop it, dog. You was look, one thing about you that I know you a genius, bro. You smart. So somewhere along the lines, our disagreement or our not us not seeing eye to eye you took it like and i took it in a way too like well that man fuck that nigga then kudos for good content but listening to this live it did not go it didn't look it wasn't a good look you know they were talking over each other blaze was muting craig answers to questions were lost some questions went without answers some of the subject matter was completely off topic and it just ended bad you know, I, I knew what was going on a long time ago. Like, 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 
a lot of other people knew what was going on. So for it to just be coming out shows what, you what, what to be coming out. The, the, showing, the, showing, the, mis showing mis speaking no truth. Show, 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 show said you didn't pay him money. Show said you. I, wasn't I don't have no contract pay. with show. show. I don't show have no contract you, with you. <clears throat> show said you wasn't you wasn't fair with bread. He nigga, said you fuck didn't, show you, and you fuck bread. Money. He said that. Tell him to come know, take it from me. He said that you was hating on on other uh, entertainers uh, as well as you know dudes in our crew. So mm -hmm. all that, mm -hmm. all that of stuff that I can say, I don't find no do, He on them lies by himself. If I'm mm -hmm. hating and doing people dirty. The only the only person that seems to be in agreement with what he's talking about is you, and that's <laughs> and that's because and that's because you believed him. Now another <laughs> shit is over money. At the uh, end of the day, bro. At the end of the day, I gave you thousands, Blaze, and I gave you a camera. I gave DJ Show thousands of dollars. Each nigga on the show, you and a couple other niggas, at least in total, got three grand from me while y'all was doing Craig Facts over a period of time. Let's let's talk about the word gave. Gave. Um, it's it's a it's a it's a variation of the word give, and it means you know freely, man. You just you give no obligation. You didn't give no, no, nobody no, no. anything. We we put in work. We like, put in work, little bro. bro. I I paid the cost to be the boss. The, <laughs> the views on Craig facts were a result of me investing my money in myself, investing my time and my resources in making the brand go. Everybody that was on the yep. show was someone who asked to be on the show. And I said, sure, come to the studio. I didn't charge, I didn't ask you for money. When that limo you drove broke down and you needed to catch an Uber, I spent $200 to Uber you from Monrovia to Pasadena and back to your crib. I went to your house two times and sat in your living room with you both times I gave you five hundred dollars out so, my pocket to show my appreciation. So don't so, don't talk so, about the word your, give. Show your appreciation you for what? Pay, I didn't pay. Show your appreciation for what? What do you mean? So just for coming and being on the show. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I, I don't know about nobody else, but I didn't ask nothing. You called me to come down there. I came down there. No, you call you to come down. Came down there with my brother to the studio. He told you I was doing a podcast. You rolled down there with D. You, uh, he said, "Can I bring Blaze?" I said, "Sure, that's my nigga. Bring Blaze. I got love for Blaze." <laughs> D brought you to the studio. Okay. That's not true. Okay. So, 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 so to be real clear with with, with the money thing, you know, your thing was, you, you know, you straight out said, "Well, Blaze, how much money did you contribute to my career? How much money?" That I put in your pocket, right? Not a dime. Right, How right. Much making off your show. Okay, so so I didn't contribute a dime to your pocket. How much did I contribute to your business? How much did what you mean? How much did you contribute to my business? How much did Blaze? How add, much the question. Did Blaze contribute to your business? Your business. Your pocket. That's your pocket. That's how you, you eat. have no value. You have no following. I put you on. Nobody knew who you were. The only thing you had was glasses, nigga. That's all you had was glasses. Okay. okay. You didn't even have a brand, nigga. I'm the one that told you and gave you advice on what to do with your brand. No, I could have no. charged you. I could have no, charged no, no, no. you for all That's the not. game I gave you, dog. I could have charged you for all the game I gave you. Stop with the <laughs> bullshit. All this adulting shit. If you okay. adulting, you get your ass out that bedroom. And you get your ass into a facility, buy your ass some real cameras, because you're probably shooting on the camera I gave you. And, and 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 that's adulting. Bro, I invested thousands, dog. I invested thousands, dog, because I believed in your talent, bro. So 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 who paid for uh who paid for the studio down there in Pasadena? Um we recorded that up. Me. Okay. Who paid who paid for the equipment that we used in there? Because Me. okay. You you pay for that at your pocket. I pay for it. See that there's another false narrative that you well, want I'm just, to hold on. I just wanna I just wanna I know out of my account. Really. Yes, out of oh, my check account. So, so 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 out of you pay you pay for the studio, the production, and everything down everything. in Pasadena out of your pocket. Everything out of your pocket. 
out of my pocket. Okay. Honestly, I hope these two dudes, man, could work it out. It's unfortunate to see this play out online, but I will be honest with y'all. I have not tuned into Craig's show since he got that deal with Caffeine. It just didn't give me the same vibe. I really, really enjoyed that group atmosphere. Everybody played off of each other. It was a good vibe. It seemed like one of a, just a, like a Howard Stern good time. And the caffeine situation didn't just, it didn't give me that. It seemed a little bit more uh, scripted. The other gentlemen, I have no idea what they do. And that brings me back to the point where I do understand where where Craig may have been coming from because this kind of reminds me. Of the Joe Button situation with his co-host, the Rory and Maul situation where the creator of the show, through his own hard work, perseverance, like it's very, very hard to create content and do it consistently and, and do it when you're not getting paid and to have a vision and, and try to get other people to believe and see the same vision that you have and, and stay committed when there's no money coming in. Now, when he got the bag, just like Joe Button did with that Spotify deal, it seemed as though there were some miscommunications. Maybe there wasn't any written deal on the table like the Joe Button cast had. They had contracts. That's cool. Bro, the lease says um, Bully Foot Productions. I got a Bully Foot Productions credit card that I paid off and maxed out every month buying equipment, paying for resources, paying for advertisement. I don't know where you get this narrative that Caffeine gave me a deal for you and him. Caffeine gave me a deal that I put on the table was my business plan. See, uh, Caffeine was only giving no. niggas, Caffeine was only giving niggas, uh, 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 they were giving different types of deals. Doughboy, CP, Brandon Lewis, and uh, I forget who else from All Def All got a deal. They didn't get the same type of deal that I got because I pitched a different type of deal. There's really not much discrepancy that you can claim. And there's really not going to be any hearsay if you got everything legally written down and you could just refer to your contract. Everything else is just bullshit, to be honest with you. But it don't seem like these guys had any contracts. I will say that it, I don't agree with people having their hands in the cookie jar looking to get a piece of a cookie or a whole cookie or take more than they deserve when the person who baked the cookies, you know what I'm saying, and bought the jar to put them in needs to recoup all of his investment before anything else can happen. If Craig didn't pay anybody, that's wrong. You gotta break your, your boys off, your, your cast, your crew that helped you get to where you are now, especially if the bag that y'all worked towards collectively was achieved. That's just the right thing to do. Now, if you didn't have any contract, that's a conversation that y'all can have. I just wanted to say that, man, this was, this was a crazy, crazy video. It ended bad. Blaze, you kind of filed for still talking bad about Craig when the video ended. It was a little, it was a lot of fake love. You know what I'm saying? You show respect, but then the super weenie comments was, was crazy that he like, you know, he couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag. And I'm assuming that this is all for content purposes because they did do this online. It wasn't a face-to-face -face conversation. They didn't meet up. It was online for everybody to see. So I'm gonna take it as content, but hopefully these guys can work everything out. Y'all tell me what y'all think back in them comments, man. It's the J-Mat Show. I'm out of here. Trey Hoover. Smokehouse Beats.